name is Cincy Chic, and I am here with something that's really, really cool. Stephanie, with Your True Colors, is a color consultant. So she will basically meet with you and find the colors that make you shine and find the colors that make you blah and gross, which are sometimes actually really popular colors. So Stephanie, can you kind of walk me through the process of doing a personal color consultation? Sure. Um, well, for starters, I'm just um, showing this on Christy. Um, one of the common colors that a lot of people are wearing, I see a lot at the mall, mm -hmm. is this kind of apple green color. Mm -hmm. And um, on many people, that apple green is really not flattering. Mm -hmm. um, but until you see the comparison, you really don't see the difference. So if you take a look at Christy's face, and this is a green that's actually quite exceptional on her. Mm -hmm. But if we train, if we change this out to the apple green color, watch her complexion. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. You see how now she's taken on almost a yellowness mm -hmm. to her face. Mm -hmm. Her eyes really pop with the with the green, the darker green. Yes, mm -hmm. they really do. Mm -hmm. They're really much much stronger. So how do you find some of the colors that work and don't work? Is this just through your training or um, is it something else? Is there another trick? There, there are certain um, shades and hues of colors that are really going to bring out those obvious changes mm -hmm. that really help us to determine which colors are best for each individual. And they're all different for each person. Um, so we have a number of fabric drapes that we use. Um, to really determine what's best, and that goes through the color analysis process. And you went through a lot of training to develop this and kind of get to where you are with your personal color consultations. Yes. Um, I was trained by a, an expert in the field with over 30 years experience just outside of New York City, um, and I flew here. I flew her here to train. That's so, awesome. Yeah. yeah. I, I, it's definitely been a comprehensive program. Yeah. yeah. And you're based in Dayton, but you also come to Cincinnati often and can help people here too. Yes, um, occasionally I do um, special promotional type uh, visits. Um, I'm getting ready to do one with Christy um, in July mm -hmm. and uh, looking forward to that. Sir. So we have our next colors here, right? Yes, um, the, these are blues. Um, obviously. <laughs> um, this royal blue is exceptionally good on her. Mm -hmm. um, you can just see there's just a nice harmony and a nice balance with her complexion and her eyes and her hair. Everything mm -hmm. just working together nicely. Um, what I'm showing you this time is just how um, sometimes intensity of color is really very important. This next drape that you're going to see is much less intense and mm -hmm. it's just not enough for her. Mm -hmm. So here's the before. And then the after being somewhat dull. Yeah. Um, and so this wouldn't be optimal. It's not that it's not a good um, tone, but the intensity is off. Mm -hmm. And that royal is, is much more powerful. It, re it really is for her. Mm -hmm. For someone else, like myself, this color that she has on now is actually better. So really? um, it's, everyone has different colors that are best mm -hmm. for them. Great. And we have other colors here. And these are more. Fiery. These are a little fiery, yes. <laughs> um, I actually was reading on um, an image consultant's website um, not long ago that orange is the new red. Hmm. I'm actually going to not put these on her. I'm going to actually put these on me first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want you to really see the reveal on this. Um, orange is the new red. It's really quite a statement to make. Yeah. Um, because what happens when you have someone um, who's perceived to have authority um, on the subject, telling people to go buy orange, mm -hmm. people will go buy orange. Right. Um, unfortunately, there might be a price to pay if orange is not a color that is best for you. Right. Um, so here, we have uh, a red that is exceptionally good for Christy. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, everything about it just makes her look healthy and beautiful. Mm -hmm. But then if you change over to the orange, I mean, she doesn't even want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one. Two, three. Mm. Then you can see her entire complexion just yeah. takes on quite a yellowness. Mm -hmm. And in this situation, she'd be more likely to have someone say, are you feeling well today? <laughs> yeah. Then, so wow, you look beautiful today. Mm -hmm. And that's really the difference between having your right. colors done and not having your colors done. Right. Yeah. Christy's like, get this I, out yeah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So now you do color consultations I and do. then I did hear Christy talking about a packet that you get or some sort of takeaway that you can take while shopping? Yes. 
I, um, I hand create color packets uh, full of fabric color swatches that um, help you shop. And, and those fold up in very neatly into a wallet size packet um, that you can keep in your purse and shop. That's so convenient. It's necessary. It really yeah. helps you out. And Christy, as you know, since he's chic ladies, she is our flair image consultant. And so she is an expert on um, image and fashion and, and all of these things that are so important to us. And color is just a vital role. Yeah, it plays a vital role. So it's so great to be able to have an expert that you can go to to really learn what the good colors are, what the bad colors are, and kind of transcend the trends. And um, to be able to kind of have a, a partner <laughs> in that is so awesome. Absolutely. So thank you, ladies, for teaching me what a what a color consultation is, and um, I'll put your information up on the site and on the video so that people can can be able to get their own personal color consultations. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Bye.